Attention, the following video is going to totally kick ass. If you enjoy any of it and or have a large penis, please click the like button below. Enjoy. Go to WrestlingFigureShop.com for all your WWE and AEW action figure needs and use discount code UNSTABLE at checkout to save yourself 10%. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, you beautiful, beautiful people. Welcome back to another video. I hope you all are having a fantastic day. If you could please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, I would really appreciate it. Third, what is this? The third video in a row where we have bad news. Is the bad news ever going to end? That's all. That's all I really want to know. Is it going to end? You know, every, every, every these last three days, for example, uh, bad, bad, worse. And I'm just thinking to myself, yo, it can't get any worse, can it? And then another day goes by. And yes, we got some bad news, ladies and gentlemen. This time it is regarding San Diego Comic-Con. Do I have to fix you guys a little bit? No, that's a little bit too high. It is regarding San Diego Comic-Con 2020. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you could see about the thumbnail. I'm sure you guys already know by now because it's been all over Instagram and this video is not going up till tomorrow, actually. So by the time you guys see this video, the news broke yesterday that it is officially canceled. So why am I making a video regarding San Diego Comic-Con? Because something major does happen at San Diego Comic-Con that is very special to everyone in the WWE action figure action figure figure community does that make does that even make sense but so nonetheless uh there is something exciting happens of course at san diego comic-con every single year you know it's been a tradition for how many years now since mattel has taken over uh they go there they do their uh main show that they do every single year you know we get two big shows each year of course we get smaller ones throughout the year but nothing as big as san diego comic-con the other one is also ringside fest is ringside fest going to be canceled this year as as well you know honestly i wouldn't be surprised everything is getting canceled this coronavirus is just ruining everything ladies and gentlemen you know uh, at first i'm gonna be honest guys i even said it on video i don't think it's gonna be as bad as everyone's going uh, taking it at uh, taking it to be uh, i can't even talk and then look as time goes on it's just like things are getting worse and worse and worse and all we do all we really want is it to end already is it gonna end are we going to live like this forever? I just have no idea. And why I want to talk about San Diego Comic-Con in the in the title, I think I'm going to put it like no more WWE figure reveals or something along those lines. But basically, you know, uh, as you all know, of course, I forgot to mention Access before. That's another big show that they do where they show a bunch of figures. And that uh, recently just happened. Of course, uh, San Diego Comic-Con doesn't happen until the summertime, obviously. Uh, Access happens during WrestleMania week. And of course, WrestleMania week, it happened, but it didn't happen. Of course, since there was no crowd, it was at the Performance Center. And there really couldn't be a showing. There couldn't be a video. But Zack Ryder and Carl Hawkins went ahead. They did the video. They showed all the new action figures from... Uh, uh, from uh, uh, the computer, of course, they did a video. They showed the pictures on screen and everything. Y usually, we get Bill McKenna. He's, you know, he's doing the walkthrough. Ringside Collectibles is with them. He does the Q and A. You know, we could ask questions. Uh, they asked uh, leave questions for Bill McKenna. They make a whole video asking him questions. You know, for uh, figures of m mainly, obviously. And then it it's just a, a huge fun thing. You know, it's mu it's much more fun than when we get the walkthrough. You know, uh, we could get we get to know what line they're actually going to be in. Uh, we get. Uh, uh, better detail of them we could see them in person better and now is it going to happen well obviously it can't because san diego comic-con is canceled so there's not going to be a walkthrough uh at san diego comic-con per se you know maybe they could go ahead now this is just an idea maybe bill could do it at the at the mattel store uh you of course have it shut of course and just have it there where he could do the walkthrough there uh where we could still get the toy show you know of course why zach Ryder and curl hawkins also in the thumbnail you know they are a big part of, of the wwe figure community you know they're really good friends with bill mckenna you know they w went ahead and did the access show for everyone in the figure community community they showed all the new figures why bill mckenna didn't do a video well uh, zach Ryder and curl hawkins definitely made it more entertaining because when bill mckenna is on camera i, I don't know why it's, it's just always awkward with him you know i met him in person great guy very nice guy but his, his videos are always awkward so I, I don't know why they went ahead and let zach Ryder and curl hawkins did it maybe they thought they would it would be more 
uh, excited with them in it. And yes, that did happen, thankfully. Um, I'm glad they went ahead and did that video for us. They showed the new figures. That's always awesome when we get to see the new figures. But now Zack Ryder and Kerr Hawkins are no longer with the, uh, with the company. So, uh, and of course, Mattel has a contract with WWE. I know Bill McKenna and them are very good friends, but with WWE allow Zack Ryder and Kerr Hawkins to do a video since it goes on WWE.com also uh, I know WWE uh, they've been doing it a lot recently for the new figures they show them all on the website basically after you know uh, you know we see the toy shows and stuff they put them up but other times they do beat them so what are we going to get this year uh, is WWE just going to post images online I mean that wouldn't be too exciting you know I'm hoping I, I'm hoping somewhat you know we, we, we get a video somehow uh, even like I said, the idea that I had, you know, Bill McKenna does it inside the Mattel store, um, and he does that little walkthrough, of course, have the store closed, uh, but I just really... I just don't know what to think at to, at this point. You know, are we just not going to get re reveals and we're not going to know about the figures until, you know, they go for pre-order and stuff? Uh, uh, what about the store exclusives? They're just going to show up and we're going to be like, oh, they're here in stores. We didn't know about it because there was no toy show. Really, everything is up in the air right now. You know, everything that I'm saying is basically just speculation. You know, oh, it could be at the Mattel Soup Store. That, that, that's just an idea. Uh, you know, But San Diego Comic-Con, that's not a speculation it is obviously canceled that's what this video is about because if it wasn't i wouldn't be making a video about it uh so there's just a bunch of stuff going on right now that is upsetting it is bad news it is not good you know well uh we got freaking all the firings happened at wwe san diego comic-con you know it's just it's just it's just it's just frustrating it's upsetting now um I just don't know what to think. Of course, you guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Uh, I'm, I'm sure I'm 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 positive that you guys are all upset about this news, you know, because I know there's a lot of beautiful people on the channel who just don't collect uh, WWE figures. And at San Diego Comic Con, all the toy uh, companies are there and they show off their new products. So this isn't just affecting WWE Mattel. This is affecting all the other toy companies. So I'm sure this is upsetting a lot of people. I know a lot of people were uh, putting it on their Instagram and social media like twitter today they were just talking about it like crazy since it was announced and i don't blame them you know this is huge san diego comic-con is such a huge event and for it not to happen is just absolutely crazy uh so really uh, yeah, w there's just so much stuff going on in the news right now things are going to be opening up then they're not going to be opening up then people have the choice th then everything's still shutting down now there's even news about wrestlemania because california made it where for a whole year there's not going to be any shows now uh it's possible that wrestlemania 37 won't happen in california what is this just going to keep going on and on no crowds no nothing we're not going to get anything we're going to be we're going to be stuck we got to wear face masks blah 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 it's just it's just all over the place ladies and gentlemen but you know what you do you want to go out you get yourself a capri sun uh capri sun you could sponsor me uh i don't know why i'm bringing this up uh, there's a capri sun and all this uh, uh i'm so upset i'm getting myself thirsty so i gotta calm down i gotta calm down but let's put this straw on. we're gonna take a sip ladies and gentlemen but there was something else i had a uh talk to you guys about and I, oh yeah that's what it was money in the bank ladies and gentlemen i know this is a little bit off topic right now first let's take a sip refreshing uh i can't put that down it will fall but money in the bank ladies and gentlemen uh i was gonna make a separate a separate video on this but i don't know i don't think it could be that long for an actual video because all we have is like two pictures right now but money in the bank is on top of a building you, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. Pictures are all over the place. You know, I think they started leaking um, like two hours ago. The ring is on top of the freaking building. So wh what is going to go down? You know, it was supposed to be at the Performance Center. I guess it's not going to be at the Performance Center no more. So they said, you know what? The hell with it. Put the ring on top of the building and we'll have them fight on top of a roof. And that, honestly, guys, I'm in love with that idea. I think that's going to be a cool scenery. It's going to be quite interesting. You know, WWE is thinking outside of the box now, which is very interesting. I'm not sure... Uh, are, do they have something planned? You know, is someone going to, uh, they're going to, of course, with the power of editing, are they going to have someone fall off the building? You know, that probably wouldn't be too good, you know, because obviously if someone f fell off the building, they would obviously, uh, 
they would not survive, especially the building it's on. You know, maybe if it's like, you know, two stories, one story, they would uh, have the chance of survival. But as tall as that building is, uh, you you were not surviving. So that would be a bad idea. Don't, don't, WWE, don't let no one fall off the building. Not even, not even with editing. A lot of people would be upset at you. You know, 2020, that's what it is. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to throw that in there as well. Let's put this down. I don't want to hold it anymore. Oh, we got the WWE logo in the back. I, I did it at this angle today because, the you know, the lighting is still terrible right now. Uh, but yeah, I went in that corner. It was atrocious, so I didn't want to do it there. And we have the WWE logo, so make it a little bit more cinematic. Is that the right word to use? But uh, San Diego Comic-Con canceled, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very upsetting to me. Uh, like I said, we don't know what's going to go on. Are we still going to get a show? Are we going to see the film? Well, we're not, obviously not getting the show. Are we still... Basically, the big question for this video is, are we still going to see the figures? That's that's just the main thing. I know it sounds weird, but I'm weird like that, ladies and gentlemen. I know a lot of you probably have the same question, too. Like, are we going to see the figures? Are we just going to see images on WWE.com? I mean, that's not that's not fun. Even do do a slideshow, Bill. Like, even go on the computer, do a little live chat, and talk about the figures. Uh, j just something to make it make it a little bit more exciting. Uh, I, I'd much rather have that than just see pictures on WWE.com. I don't know why, because we would still see the figures, but. I don't, I, it just wouldn't feel the same. You know, nothing feels the same anymore with this coronavirus going around. So what can I say, ladies and gentlemen? But, um, uh, I don't even know. I really don't even know what else to say no more, ladies and gentlemen. But, uh, I guess we'll end it here. I don't, I don't really have anything else to say. So if you guys enjoyed this video, if you could please go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. Uh, be, make sure to let me know your thoughts on this whole situation down in the comment section below. Uh, I, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. If you are a new viewer, please subscribe for more. I love each and every one of you, and I will see you beautiful people next time. Don't forget to get yourself some Capri Sun. Oh, I know, I know, I know it's early, babe.